Okay, uh, uh, in 4.15 uh, we have what we call imposing countability on non-count nouns. What does this mean? We have uh, means if we have uh, uh, uncount or non-count nouns and we want to make it a group. So we divide this non-count nouns into pieces or parts, then we make these parts as a plural. So that we means imposing countability on non-count nouns. So let's say, for example, if we have water, how do we manage with water? We try to see the water consists of what, then we try to make plural of, uh, for these count. Accordingly, we have three types of this uh, procedure. The first one is what we call general partitives. Means we can use the three items, either say piece of, or item of, or let's say a bit of. Then we have what? We have none count. So uh, either we use a, a piece of, or an item of, or a bit of. For example, if we have the word news, the word news, we know that news has no singular in English, but in Arabic, of course, in Arabic we have singular and the plural. Means if we have khabar, we can say akhbar, but in English, news. Uh, it has no singular. In other words, if we delete this S, in this case we have a new, and this is another word. So we keep it as what? As a news, and we try to precede this word, this piece, uh, this uh, noun, by one of these. For, for example, if we say a piece of a news, means we have just one. We have just one. We hear just one piece of a news, or we told just one. So, if we want to make plural of this, we say, instead of a piece, we say, for example, three pieces of what? Of news. See, pieces. We deleted the A, this indefinite article, and we put number three, four, whatever, three pieces of news. If we have, for example, information, information. Information is what is non-count now. If we want to tell others that we have just one, 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 let's say, we say an, for example, an item of, an item of what? Of information, means just one. If we want to make it a plural, we say four items. Now we make the plural for what? For the word item. We say, for example, four items of what? Of information. So then, the first procedure, by using general. Why general? Because mostly we can use a piece of, a bit of, an item of, with most nouns. Of course, with the slight differences between this. Mostly, bit means very small thing. Let's say, like, not like a piece of furniture. We don't say a bit of furniture. It is possible, but when you say a piece, it could be a say, large one. But we say a bit of means, for example, a grain or wheat. We say a bit of. This is the first uh, uh, procedure by imposing. The second by using what we call typical. This is not typical. Typical partitives. What does it mean? Means we use such expressions according to the type of the noun. For example, if we have the word cake, we know how to divide the cake. We divide the cake into what? Into pieces. What do you call each piece? We call it a slice. A slice of cake. You know slice? Or slice of roast or meat, shariha. So we say a slice of cake. Why? Because we cut the cake in two. If we have, for example, uh, say ink. Ink, you know the word ink. Ink consists of what? Consists of drops. We say a drop. A drop what? Of a drop of ink. A drop, katra. We say a drop of ink. Why? Because we do not cut or we do not divide ink into what? Into, uh, say, into uh, slices. If we have a bread, bread in English, uh, non count, but in Arabic it is countable. Raghif Arabic. So if we have, for example, loaf, say loaf, we say what? We say, uh, sorry, bread. If we have bread. 
we ch we change into a loaf of what a loaf of a bread. See, this is what why we call it typical. Means we choose the part according to the type of noun. Again, the same thing with the the first group. If we want to make this one plural cake or inks, we delete this a or an and we put s to loaves to drops and to slice. If we have four, we say four slices of cake. If we have ten drop, we say ten drops of ink. We do not touch this or we do not add S to these nouns, but we add S to the first group. Loaf, if we have say five, we say five loaves of what of a bread, etc. with other types. So this is the second uh, the second time. The third time is what we call measures. The same thing imposing, but here we take measures, means, uh, for example, if we have, let's say, gold, the word gold. So, generally, we deal with golds either with what, for example, a gram, a gram of gold, a gram of gold. Why? Because we use with gold, uh, oh, gold, so... Gold. So we say a gram of gold, or for example, we have the uh, distance or the area. We say, for example, a hectare of of land. In Arab, we say hectare of land. So, for example, milk. We say a bottle, a bottle of what milk? Why? Because we put the milk in bottle. Say a gram of gold, these are measures, unit that we use for such nouns. So a gram of gold, if we have more, we say 10 grams of gold, 10 grams. If we have more than one hectare, say for example, 15 hectares of land. If we have, for example, large number of bottles, we say for example, 25 bottles of milk. So these are, we call it what? Measures, say gram, unit, or uh, say uh, kilometers or meters, etc. This is the way how to impose countability on non countable nouns. Means we divide them into part, either according to general partitive, means we can use these a piece of an item of a bit of with, with most non count nouns. And if we want to make them plural, we put as to the piece or item a bit after deleting this a or an. The second time is typical, means we choose the part, partitive, partitive, we choose the part according to the type of the noun. So uh, the same plural, the same thing, or uh, the same procedure with the plural. And finally, we have measures, measures that we use the unit for each noun. As we said, for example, centimeter, or centimeter cubic, or a gram, or ton, or bottle, or etc. So this is how do we divide or how to deal with the uh, uh, uncountable nouns?